busy day today. I have to go to the hospital and visit a friend of mine at a St. Patrick's Day party last night. He called the uh, a leprechaun. What did he do? Called him a crazy little bastard. <laughs> you don't want to do that. <laughs> the Smurfs and the leprechauns, they, uh, they're unionized now. You can't, you can't get away with that anymore. Little people, small people, dwarfs. We can't call them that anymore. You got to find a name. Like, you know, we found a name for blacks to be called African-American. Now you got to find something for, for little people. You know, you can't call them that. You can't smalls, you know, uh, extra small or what, what, what would be a good word? Uh, what can we, what can we call someone that's, that, that's, has their nose in your crotch? What you, <laughs> when you're talking to them. Uh, fortunately, I have a hearing aid down there. Uh, that's my story with Bob Hope. You know, I did an interview with him at his house and, uh, I was t talking to him and, and, and for about 15 minutes, and Bob didn't answer anything that I was asking him. So uh, at the break, the, his uh, his manager came up to me, and he said, you know, Bob's got a hearing aid, and he's got one of those old-fashioned ones. You don't talk into his head because the hearing aid's not attached here for the sound in his ear. It's in his chest. So I got down on my knees. <laughs> <laughs> for the next next segment with Bob and I said can you hear a little better he says yeah but I want to know what the hell you're doing down there you know <laughs> so it's fun it's all fun anyway we're, we're here uh, having I still haven't found a name for little people I you know you, you, you they, they have the Keebler Alfs remember those guys they have they have uh, we've made a lot of uh, a lot of progress in areas of women and blacks and uh, Latins we're not doing real well with Asians this month. We're blaming them for the, uh, for for everything you know that that's gone wrong for the pandemic. So now you know people are beating up Asians. It's not a good thing. Uh, not, well, not, I mean you know taking it out on another person. But we're so self-centered that we can't even watch television anymore because reality shows are not about us. <laughs> this is this is how crazy we've gotten. We've gotten really crazy. You know, people are watching the news and everybody is wrong and everybody's done something bad and oh my god. Uh even watching this, you're probably waiting for the other shoe to fall. I wonder where I'm going to go with it. How, you know, who am I who whose chops am I going to bust? And, uh, and and where am I going to go with uh with putting someone down and how 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 much information do I have on how much dirt can I share with, with you? <laughs> I can't tell you how much I've been asked to tell stories about different people that are revealing. And then when you find out that they're just like us, in a way, it's that's the boredom part, see? So that's that's what the reality thing is. The reality television is a mirror. But I'm not a bachelor. I'm not looking for a bachelorette. And I'm not uh, going to live in a house with a bunch of people like MTV and a fraternity. I'm not going to do any of those things that they, uh, I don't want to be hired by Trump. Well, I sure don't want The Apprentice. And I'm not going to show you something on Shark Tank with all these rich people sitting there telling me how poor I am uh, and, until I do things their way. Uh, I don't think so. And the only other place I could go if I'm going to really follow the rules on television is to uh, is Judge Judy. Because uh, we got Dr. Ed, Judge Judy. We got, <laughs> that's got to be. Oh, yeah, Dr. Ruth. That's another dwarf, uh, midget, uh, a small person, uh, elf. Uh, there's, there's got to be something that we, that we call these, these people that, are, that grow on you. <laughs> Maybe they don't grow on you. And uh, yeah, oh, I, I'll tell you, there's a, there's a little story about that. There was a witch doctor in Africa, and, and he was uh, insulted by one of the uh, royal, royal. What is it? They, 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 they're, they're, their soldiers are the royal guards or something. And uh, the one guy came in and he was uh, uh, all crippled. And one of the other guys in the social club asked him, he said, what happened to you? And he says he called the, uh, the witch doctor a, a stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> That'll do it, you know. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to insult uh, midgets and witch doctors. You got to kind of stay away from them. Anyhow, I'm going to do a whole thing uh, with my life right now. I'm going to change it dramatically. I'm going to actually uh, do some entertaining shows 
when we can get back into a studio with real equipment and uh, maybe the camera can move around, maybe there's lighting and sound. Hey, what about that? And maybe an audience. You know, I, I don't forget it's me and an iPhone. What, what the hell is that? I mean, you know, sitting here at a living. <laughs> no writers. Of course, on that too, I don't have anybody to pay. I pay myself very well. I, I got my uh, stimulus check. Did you get that yesterday? It was some guy who wanted to share it with his relatives, and when they didn't, he killed them. Is, is that ridiculous? I mean, you know, for $1,400, and, and just because they wouldn't split it? I, I would think there's a little drugs involved. <clears throat> Maybe there was a dwarf, a midget, a little person, a smurf, <laughs> an elf. Where am I going with this? Nowhere. I'm gonna I'm gonna piss off everybody in short. <laughs> That's it. That's now we found it. We we found it. American shorts. That's what they are. American. Wow. I knew I would figure it out. It's a Reynolds wrap.